Hey, Bella Buddies. Thanks for watching. Okay, this is a what did the Goodwill on eBay sell? So eBay, let me say that again. Goodwill sells on eBay. So I found a store and I'm going to show you some big money bolos that they sold. So what this store does, it seems to focus on certain categories and we're going to talk about that, but I'm guessing that maybe the local stores mail these items to this location or I don't really know how it works, but these are some big money bolos that never hit the Goodwill store floors and they go to eBay to be auctioned off. Now, one thing really cool is that they start all of their auctions at $9.99. So this may be a store that would be um, good to uh, bookmark or what do you call it? Mark as a favorite and check it periodically because you might be able to snag a good deal. They do um, a lot of bundling. So it could be good for resellers. So let's look at their big money bolos. And this is going to help us learn. and. I can't, I mean, everything was donated, so we're just going to talk about it. We're going to see what, um, I pulled up some of the unexpected ones and we're just going to go through each tab and, uh, we'll move quickly and talk about them. All right. But again, I will try to remember to link it down in the description so that you guys can, um, bookmark it. All right. So the first item that sold, the first item that sold. Okay. So this store has so much glass baby in it. I don't know if every Goodwill in the world is like sending this store their glass baby or what, but this store definitely knows about glass baby being a bolo. And I actually did a little bit of research on this and it's a pretty cool story. You guys should definitely Google it. But from what I understand, this is actually hand blown glass. So um, pretty, pretty cool. Now I, what I, have figured out just from looking at comps on glass baby is that the color combinations determine the price. Now this one sold for $1,525 and 92 cents. It's called feeling groovy and it's uh, orange. So if you go into the bid history here, um, 18 people were bidding on this. 18 unique bidders. So that tells me that this is a rare, hard to find item if there were 18 different people bidding on it. Uh, with 38 bids, the winning bidder had um, 141 feedback. So if that was zero feedback, eh, you know, you, I might be concerned. I don't know. Who knows if it got paid for? Um, there is one way that we can look. And if you go into the feedback and you type in glass baby, it will pull up all of the feedback. Now, the problem with this is that not everybody leaves feedback. I don't know why this is taking so long. Okay. Uh, oops, there seems to be a problem. Well, we'll try one more time. Feedback. Okay. So, I typed in glass baby to the feedback and you can see right here. These are the people that have left um, feedback. Here's one that went for 630. Uh, this particular one, they may not have left feedback for, but you can see all the different prices and it definitely ranges from um, small amounts to big money. So again, it just depends on I think the color combination and stuff like that. But this store has a ton of glass baby. All right, the next item is another glass baby. This one sold for $986.92. And most of them are gonna have this barcode sticker on the bottom, which doesn't look really fancy to me, you know, but this holds a candle, you guys, I guess. I guess you could like drink out of it if you wanted. I don't know, but it's meant to be a candle holder, holder and the light, how it reflects through the glass. Definitely Google it. The next item is this G.I. Joe 1960s lot. 
and it is a huge lot of just vintage old GI Joes and GI Joe accessories. So, um, maybe somebody bought this to part it out. Maybe a collector bought this, but it ended up selling for $921.95. The next item is this um, Dr. Martin Luther St. Paul Antique 1577 English Second Edition. So it's a really, really old, old book. And you can see like they're holding it with gloves. So they know what they're doing. Um, hard to believe it's in the condition that it's in, um, given the age. So, I mean, it's crazy, right? Look at that. $890 plus shipping. I probably would have walked right past it. The next item that sold is this violin case. So this is just the case, you guys. No violin, just the case. And it sold for $615.01. So let me know in the comments, would you have walked right past this or would you have picked it up? The next item is this Mattel Barbie lot. And this is what I mean by if you... um are maybe looking to source. This one went for $487, but I will tell you some vintage Barbie outfits can go for $100 to $200 just for one outfit. If you know what you're looking for, you'd be able to look at this and know if you can make your money or not. I don't know enough about it, but I can see one, that red jacket, it has a black, um, it's a white tag with black writing. I know that that is definitely something to be out, be on the lookout for. But I also know that that Ken looking doll, the, the boy, he doesn't look very old. So this could just be a complete mixed lot. And, you know, it's the older stuff that goes for more. But it did go up pretty high. So I'm guessing that um, the person buying it probably knew what they were looking for. I don't know how old she is. But uh, a good person to follow, follow on YouTube is My Reseller Treasure. She talks tons about Barbie stuff and she is super knowledgeable and she knows about the old stuff. So definitely check her out. My reseller treasure, Brandy. The next item is this Harvey's X Disney Couture, the Nightmare Before Christmas seatbelt shoulder bag. So it's seatbelt material, but it has the Nightmare Before Christmas, I guess, logo on it. Well, they have a glove on in this one also. <laughs> Maybe they just wear a glove. Uh, this one sold for $455 plus shipping. The next item is another glass baby. This one sold for $455 and look how pretty it is. So pretty. And that one is called Blue Thunder. The next item they sold is this Pendleton Great Smoky Mountains National Park Blanket. I will say that is another thing this store sells a lot of is Pendleton brand items. This blanket sold for $390 plus shipping. The next item is this Pokey and Rocky or Pocky and Rocky. Pocky and Rocky. I don't know. I've never heard of it. It is a N S N E S game, Super Nintendo game, no manual, just the game and the box sold for $425. So Pocky Rocky, definitely going to be on the lookout for that. The next item is this Snorlax Pokemon Jumbo Plush Backpack. It sold for $310, you guys. And it looks like it retailed for $39. But, you know, if it's discontinued, retired, new old stock, um, things will get bid up. So the next item is this antique solid sterling pot with pour spout. Now, this is sterling silver, so that is going to increase the value of the item. But what I wanted to point out to you is just the item in general. Like, I've never seen anything like this. I don't even know that I would have known to look to see if it was sterling. It's got this little brand here on the side. And it is marked right here. I don't even think this says sterling on it. So perhaps one of these little logos or branding stamps means sterling. 
I don't know if anybody knows, uh, let me know in the comments. Um, definitely curious about that, but it was sold for $425 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is another glass baby. This one actually has the packaging. So if you want to know what the box looks like, that's what it looks like. And this one is called the soil and it sold for $405 plus shipping. Next item is a Hudson's Bay blanket. These wool blankets are also a bolo. Um, I've also seen a jacket that is Hudson's Bay that has this same print. So both of those are bolo items. This sold for $315 plus shipping. The next item is this Mattel Barbie doll. It is a ponytail doll made in Japan. Her makeup looks pretty good for the age. This is her. Um, okay, so these are the tags I was telling you about. Definitely be on the lookout. Here's her uh, Tush brand. Uh, and there she is in her swimsuit. $337.57 on this one. And her foot is marked Japan. The next item that sold is this Rudy Jude. Um, it's a dress. I pulled this one up because I have never heard of this brand and I just wanted to share it with you guys. It looks like uh, organic cotton. I don't know. I don't know why it's special. It's got the original tag, but it must be a high end brand. It looks almost has a vintage look to it, but I think it's just made that way. But this sold for $338 plus shipping. The next item is this. Nintendo game. It's Knights of the Re Knights of the Round. Super Nintendo SNES game, no manual, untested, and it sold for $286 plus shipping. The next item that sold, I just thought this was interesting. It's a it's a lot of five vintage leather US mail carrier bags, you guys. How crazy is that? $203.49 plus shipping. The next item are these Pokemon Heart Gold and Soul Silver for Nintendo DS. These sold for $260 plus shipping. And I have sold Nintendo DS. I think it was Nintendo. I, okay, don't quote me on that. It was something Pokemon, but it was just the packaging. Definitely a bolo. Just for the packaging. No games. I have a video on it. The next item is this 9.6 pound assorted lapel and buttons lot. Uh, you guys, this went for $247.50. This could be a great reseller lot. Maybe, maybe not. Hard to say because there's only two pictures, but it is 9.6 pounds and there's a lot of stuff in there. So $247.50 plus shipping. And they do sell other things like this. So that's when I told you maybe bookmark their store. It could be something, a place potentially to source. The next item is this vintage Pyrex. This is gooseberry Cinderella nesting bowls. And there's three of them here and they went for $232 plus shipping. The next item that sold is another one that I've never heard of. It is called Love Shack. And it looks like it retails for $325. Have you guys heard of this brand? If so, let me know in the comments. Uh, it sold for $240 plus shipping. And you will see that even though it is new with tags, they did put that the item is pre-owned, probably because it's a Goodwill and somebody donated it. The next item are these all-clad round cake pans. And I did see a lot of all-clad in their store. So that is another thing that they look for. This sold for $224.72 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Toomey backpack. And not much of a description in the title, uh, but there it is. It looks to be like, I don't know, you see that styrofoam or foam? Maybe it's never even been used. There we go. This sold for $173.50 plus shipping. The next item are these 1947 U.S. Navy recognition training slides. Super cool. And old slides can definitely be a bolo. It really just depends what is on them. This one sold for $202.50 plus shipping. 
The next item that sold is this, uh, these roller skates. They are vintage Rydell and they're RS-1000. And you can see they're, they're not mint. They've got some age and some wear to them. And they went for $177.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold are these Christopher Radko Christmas ornaments. I definitely pick up Christopher Radko. That is something that I always bolo for. But these gals went for $202.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this unbranded hand knit full zip sweater with the ducks. And it sold for $155 plus shipping. So pretty cool item. Um, even though it's unbranded, it still went for big money because of the, probably the ducks. The next item that sold is this Lego Kingdom 7189 Mill Village Raid minifigures. So it comes with the minifigures. So this must be like a vintage, maybe discontinued set. And it sold for $187.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, and they do have a lot of Legos. So that's another thing to look for and Nintendo type items. So you guys, this is just empty boxes and cases and manuals. And this sold for $149.50 plus shipping. Again, these are things that you can buy and part them out because people are looking for the boxes and they will pay up for them if it's something they need. So um, $149.50 plus shipping. The next item that sold is this Pendleton bomber jacket. It's uh, got some multicolor. It's really vibrant still. Looks like it was really taken care of. Definitely a bolo item. This sold for $162.50 plus shipping. The next item is this Supreme branded folding lawn chair. So I don't know if Seattle Goodwill knows that Supreme is a bolo or lawn chairs are a bolo, but we both, or well, I'm guessing I know that they're both a bolo. I'm assuming you do as well, but vintage lawn chairs and the Supreme brand are definitely a bolo. I'm surprised this didn't go for more. It sold for $81 plus shipping, but you can see the shipping was pretty high. The next item that sold are these vintage um, Dakin. It's the Mr. Rogers puppets, you guys. And there's four of them here. And they sold on auction for $172.50. So that is definitely a bolo to be on the lookout for. The next item is this Michael Harvey craft ceramic paper bag. And actually one of my bolo buddies... Um, members of my channel actually has one of these up for auction right now. I think it's the same brand and theirs doesn't have, a, is that supposed to look like that? I think that's just like a defect and it still went for 142.51. Wow. So hopefully theirs goes for big money. I, I shared it in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. So definitely go over and check that out. The next item that sold is this vintage Pee Wee's Playhouse action um, playset and action figures. And I'm actually surprised this did not go for more because this is really old and it looks like it's got everything included. And it only went for $92. So I don't know. I probably, I don't know. I feel like that should have gone for more. But maybe people just are not into Pee Wee's Playhouse. I don't know. The next item. Oh, that's it. Okay. So Seattle Goodwill. So what I want to show you guys is these are some of the items that did not get any bids or they got one bid and sold for $9.99. So I'm just going to kind of scroll and just show you guys that not everything is a big money bolo and there is potential to snag something for $10 plus shipping. Um, like these are um, sealed VHS tapes these games, uh, old books. So if you really know what to look for, you may be able to snag a deal. Um, I don't know. But I just wanted to go through some of the things. Or just maybe a place that you want to purchase some stuff for home use. But you can see they 
they specialize in certain types of things. Let's go over to page five and just look at some of the other solds. Sterling silver necklace that went for $10 plus shipping or $9.99. So yeah, there's some potential to get some decent stuff for a decent price. Maybe resell it. Maybe keep it for personal use. Anyway, I'll link it down in the description. But I just wanted to share this with you guys. Again, it is Seattle Goodwill, I think. Yeah, Seattle, Good Seattle Goodwill. I cannot talk on eBay. All right, you guys, let me know what you think of this video. I do have a series called um, eBay stores that start auctions low. If you guys want to go and check that out, um, it's a playlist. And I have other stores that I have found through my research that start auctions low. And I show you some of their big money bolos, but there is also potential to purchase from them as well. All right, you guys, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching.